been so long. Here we are. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. Happy hump day. How are you guys doing? Oh my goodness. I think I've forgotten how to do this. I literally don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on a second. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. It's like riding a bicycle. This is going to be great. Um, yeah. So normally I do this every, these live streams every Monday and Wednesday, but we had spatial tickets on Monday. So I made an exception and I switched it around. So just to let you know up front, this live live streams this week are going to be happening right now before your very eyes. And then on Friday. Um, so we'll see how a Friday live stream goes again. It's been a while since we've done that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Who's all here? Who are the peeps in the house? I also saw someone became a member before it even started. Sally Gooch. 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 Welcome, Sally. Um, hello, Yvonne. Ooh, Yvonne. I don't think you've been here in a in a hot second. Sorry, that gin and tonic's already getting in there. I, I I'm just gonna stop telling you what I'm drink telling you what I'm am I drunk already? I'm going to stop telling. I'm drinking because it's always this. It's just my favorite. It's just my favorite. It's a Hendrix gin and tonic. I don't be mad at me. Okay. It's what I like right now. Um, hello, Anna Lima. I hope you feel better. Hello, Lauren Boyles. Hello, Patricia Goodwin. Hello, Jerry Morrison. Hello, Joanna. Yas, queen. Yas. Hello, Lisa Blancet. So many of the GJG here. So many of the... What's new? What's new? I'm acting like that's new. Karina, hello everyone from Montreal. Let's get this party started. Yes, Karina. That's what I like to hear, girl. Um, what else? Who else? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay, really a lot to scroll through. Okay. Oh my goodness, my friend EKB, Emily King Brown is here. Emily, while you're here, you didn't, you didn't ask for this. Oh wait, 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 wait. The chat, the chat's moving so fast. I'm going to deem you a moderator wait let me make sure i did it to the <laughs> emily add moderator you didn't ask for it girl but <laughs> since you're here i don't i don't have randy here so you don't have to stay you don't have to stay though because i've done this on my own many times but while you're here i'm gonna put you to work and i'm gonna pay you nothing Welcome. <laughs> what do I do? Oh, this is fun. This is going to be like, we're going to coach this together publicly. This is great. It's my fault. <laughs> no, Emily, I'm kidding you. So Emily, see those little three dots next to everyone's names? You have, they give you options. Let's all learn together. This is fun. This is fun. We're learning. You can report a message you can, or a, a, a comment. You can remove it. You can put a user in timeout if they're being, if you don't want to totally get rid of them forever, but you feel like they're being, I don't know, they're misbehaving. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm laughing. That's what you use it for. Um, and then hide user on this channel if there's a troll or an asshole person, or if I text you and tell you that I want you to get rid of someone. <laughs> and it looks like I can also remove you as a moderator. That's an option as well. So I hope you're good at this because, you know. Hello, Melanie McCoy. Um, I was just actually Marco polling with Emily before this and I should have asked her <laughs> on Marco Polo, but I didn't. 
Um, okay, so so initially what I was gonna do with this live stream is I just call it trying new makeup because I do, you know, I, I do have some new makeup to try. But then I realized that I had this box from Laura Mercier that I had been waiting to open. And I was like, well, let me just open that up. And it's glorious. It's, and so we're going to do this. It's mostly a, oh, the note card fell out. It's mostly a full face of Laura Mercier. Also, I'm not going to read this to you, but can we just take a moment for the handwritten note in the most beautiful cursive I have ever seen that they included? Isn't that nice? Wow, I'm... Guys, take it in, because cursive is gone, okay? This is, this is going to be, like, in the archives. <laughs> People are going to look back and be like, what was that? Poor, what were we teaching? our kids. Why was that important? Well, I like it. Um, okay. So, so we're going to do a full, mostly full face of Laura Mercier. And then there are a few products that they didn't send. So we'll, that won't be Laura Mercier. Um, and Viscardi, I've written so little in the past year, it takes me a minute to get going. I know, same. Like when I have to write out my rent check, <laughs> such a joy and a pledge. I, I feel, well, first of all, I feel like my nails get in the way. But second of all, it's just, it's work. I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm losing the skill. This is sad. Um, scary. Really scary. Um, Stephanie Rogers, watching from hotel room during first work trip in a year, plus watching Kate Feels Like Home. Oh, that's nice. I do I do enjoy staying in a nice hotel. I do enjoy that experience, I have to say. I'm a weird, is that weird? I like, I like airports. I like an airport day because airport days, like, don't matter. Like, you can eat and drink whatever you want. That's just, that's the rule that I employ on those days. Hotels, a little bit the same. Um, oh, Better Off Red is here. Hey, Sarah. Yas. Um, yes, yes. Clean sheets and remote to myself. Ooh, sounds like a dream. Sounds like a dream. Okay. I was trying to think, uh, Yes, I have two, two moderators now. Again, just want to say to Sarah and Emily, come and go as you please, because I got this. I got this. I'm pretty self-sufficient, but since you're here, you know the drill. Um, <clears throat> wait, hi, Katie. Oh, hi, Katie. Hi. Hi, Cece. So the reason that I, um, we didn't have a live stream on Monday night is because Randy got these special tickets to go. So you guys know what Alamo Draft House is? It's this chain of movie theaters. It's like our favorite thing to do. So there's one in Brooklyn, in downtown Brooklyn. And I think they, I've talked about it before, but they they originated in Austin and it's this movie house. It's just really cool and retro. And, um, and they, they show new movies, but they also show like throwbacks. I think Devo is, K is saying, yes, she knows. Um, oh, Rachel, yes, it originated in Austin where I grew up. Yeah, so it's really cool. The whole aesthetic is, is just like a total throwback. Lots of like, um, like pulp, uh, sci-fi posters and stuff like that. And they, you know, they've reopened movie theaters within a certain capacity here in New York City. You still have to wear your mask and all that. So we decided to go see Do the Right Thing. So they're showing Do the Right Thing, which if you don't know that movie, you definitely should write it down. <laughs> I'm sure you probably do. It's a Spike Lee movie. It was made in, I think, 1991. Um, 
we both seen it. It's one of Randy's favorite Spike Lee movies, but um, he just thought it'd be really cool to see it on the big screen. So, and it was, and it didn't even dawn on me because I don't know why, but it was very kind of epic to be watching Do the Right Thing in Brooklyn on the big screen, you know, kind of like a, it was very much for him like a once in a lifetime thing, like he's always wanted to do that. So it was, it was really cool. And um, if you haven't seen Do the Right Thing, now you know what you're watching tonight. You should definitely watch that. Um, it's sadly relevant, as you can probably guess, for so many reasons. And I mean, no one has Spike Lee's style. You know what I mean? He's just one of those filmmakers where it's just like, you know that's, that's Spike Lee. Um, and he's in it, which <laughs> he is so young in that movie. And he's so pretty. I mean, he's pretty... He's pretty now, <laughs> but like, he's real young. And he's got those big eyes with those caterpillar eyelashes that are just gorgeous. Um, it's just so cool. I only know him really as like, Spike Lee the director. So I had never seen him any in anything before that movie. And he's, he's just, there's no one like him. <laughs> Um, yeah, he was so, so young and so quirky and so weird, but like, I'm so into it. Anyway, a truly, a truly unique, there is no one, there is no one like him situation. Mm. And also, can we just talk about the 90s fashion? Because it's, it's happening in that movie. It's all happening. Um... Emily King Brown, Emily's agreeing. She agrees that this is, she loves to do the right thing. So anyway, um, did I ever tell you that I was in the same room as Spike Lee? Have I told this story? I don't want to retell it. I don't, I, I, have I? Someone who's been here every time <laughs> say something. <laughs> um, Ron Meets World, I don't really like when directors are in their own movies, makes me not want to see them. Oh, well, aren't we judgy, Ron Meets World? Well, you know what? You're going to make an exception for this one. That's what you're going to do. Um, <clears throat> it's also such an ensemble cast. It's not just like, he is obviously like one of the main characters, but I don't know. It's just, it's fantastic. Oh, so it's not much of a story, but basically when, oh, Taika Waititi, Emily says another director who's been, I love him too though. I love him so much. So do you guys know what Sleep No More is? So basically, I don't even, well, it's not going on right now, obviously, but it's this huge warehouse downtown. Um, I think the producers of it are punch drunk and um, I think they're from the UK and it's this like whole uh, immersive experience, theatrical experience. So, and it's very creepy and it's based on, uh, wait, the Scottish, the Scottish play, right? Emily, Emily will correct me because she's, it's been so long since I've thought about sleep no more that I can't even remember, but yes. Um, so, which is, which is Macbeth. Um, and so anyway, you, it's just like a million rooms, a million. Emily, did you go to this? It's so cool. I loved it. There's a jazz bar downstairs. It's very creepy. It's very like goth. Um, and it's sort of a choose your own adventure and you can interact with the actors. And so I went, one of my friends was the house manager at the time. It was like the thing to do. So it was very exciting because I got to go, you know, when it was super hyped. And that night, Anderson Cooper, Hugh Jackman, and Spike Lee were there. Now, <clears throat> I was going into the candy room. It's like, it was like an old candy shop or whatever. And you could actually like open up the jars and eat the candy. So I was like, 
pulling out and you you wear masks i'm not explaining this well you wear these very terrifying masks so you can't tell who anyone is but john my friend had told me that spike lee was going to be there so of course i'm like you know peripherally just paying attention and i was alone in a room with spike lee and whoever his lady friend was um and it was you're like well how did you know it was spike lee but like i knew it was spike lee because he was a peanut he was like a pocket person. Like he's tint, tint a. He's like, we know this, but I mean, you think you know it and then you see him and you're like, oh, 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 wow. And I'm like looming. And so, you know, anyway, I think he's, I don't know how we could look. Let's Google, let's Google it. How tall is Spike Lee? Spike Lee height. Wait, what? That can't be right. What? He's five six. Oh my god, he looks so much shorter than that. All right, well that's not what I. I was thinking more like five three. Anyway, the point is he's short. <laughs> and I was the and I was in a room with Spike Lee in a in a candy like an old candy shop. That's the story. That's. We didn't have an interaction because we had masks on, so. Um, anyway, cool. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Karen K, that means he's 5'4". <laughs> that makes sense, though, because I feel like. I think he's I think he's shorter than that. Google could Google could be wrong. Google has been wrong before. We don't want to spread any, you know, fake news or anything like that. But Nancy West, I met Spike Lee with Erica Badu on a photo shoot about 12 years ago. Excuse, ex, um, excuse me. Excuse me. Wow. Okay. Fancy. Um... So anyway, let's get let's let's get into the Laura Mercier here. Let me take a drink first. Um Oh. Okay. Oh, Robin, I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. Um, thank you for being here. We're going to send Robin all of our, all of our love and support. Do this. Everyone do this and send it, send it through their, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but I just, I'm trying to share the love here. Um, Okay, so, the, oh, wait, damn it, damn it. We're gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't open this box because clearly I did. <laughs> but, oh, so the one thing we're not gonna be using is this Laura Mercier soothing eye makeup remover for obvious reasons. Um, but I love that they sent this like lovely, little satchel um <clears throat> and they sent almost all the complexion products i need except for concealer so i'm just gonna set this out but i'm gonna show you so they sent me the matte radiance baked powder uh which is a, a bronzer which i'm very excited about this is what everyone's favorite thing I don't have this. The Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I feel like this is very divisive. Very divisive. We'll, we'll see. This is the, uh, the, the oh, this is something I, I don't have this primer. I have a couple of their primers, but this is the Pure Canvas Primer. It's the blurring one. 
um, which I think is mattifying, which I don't tend to gravitate toward, but you know, we're trying new things it's, and it was, <laughs> it was gifted to me. So, um, and then the foundation we're going to be using is the tinted moisturizer, natural skin perfector. Emily King Brown. We do like a, we do like a blur. We're not mad about a blur. Um, and then I don't have any, most of these things. And then the lipstick is there. This sounds right up my alley. The silk creme lipstick in the shade new préféré, which is a, like a pinky Brown. Excited to try that. We're doing the whole kit and caboodle here. Cause they also send a lip pencil. So this is the uh, long wear lip liner in a nude shade as well. So we'll try that. And then we have a caviar stick, which I do have several of them. As we know, they're incredible, but I don't have the shade. So that's awesome. This is the shade Ginger and the shade Ginger. So that's, those are all the Laura Mercier products we're going to be um, using, using. So let me just refer, refresh this here. So just a couple things before I get going. If you're here and your eyes are upon my visage, I would so appreciate it if you would give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down because all of it's literally the same on YouTube because everything's terrible. So just engage because it really helps. You can even do it on a TV. Someone wrote me one time and was like, well, you should know that people who watch on TV can't. That's not true. Okay, you can do it on a TV. Also, if you're here and you're enjoying the content, subscribe. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. I was going to make some other disclaimer, but I don't have the energy. Um, I also have to say that I, I'm so sorry to, oh, Glitter Fallout is here tuning in late. But how effing cute do you look in all? Oh, thank you, Linda. Yes, Linda. Linda and I are, are sisters. Ooh, sorry about that. I hit my hand on a door. That's ugly. But she loves the jewels. She's always got the rings. So I always make sure to like show her the rings I bought because we have a problem. We have a problem. The head wrap is from the wrap life, which I forgot to link the things I'm wearing. But after this... Um, renders i'll make sure to link those things sorry about that but the wrap life i've talked about it many times before but i think sometimes i forget to talk about their deal um they are a black owned head wrap company based in brooklyn so if you are a person who's been wanting to try out head wraps they have so many different kinds so many different textures it's amazing. So definitely check out the wrap life. Um, and like I said, when this is done, I'll, I'll link, I'll link them. Um, yes, I even influenced Emily to buy one of these rings. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emily. I'm sorry, girl. I was going to say Sherry Ford on the last live stream. I felt really bad because she sent, I don't know how I missed it. I will keep my eyes peel but she's of course she sent a donation and i didn't get a chance to or i didn't get a chance it's not that i just missed it and i didn't i didn't shout it out so i just i was still bad when i do that so i'm sorry to sherry um oh ageless beauty 416 i love the rap life they have an app now really really when you have an app you're fancy i'm sorry but like Okay, you better get it. Why are we talking about Vienna sausages? What's happening? <clears throat> What's happening? Oh, the blush. Oh, the blush I'm going to be using is Laura Mercier as well. It wasn't sent to me. Um, actually... I just have these and I'm excited to use them because I completely forgot I had them. Um, so I have the, these are a favorite of guess who, guess who, <laughs> guess who, um, Michelle Wong. 
So these are the blush color infusions and we're gonna be using both of them because damn it, that's just how we're gonna roll. So, oh, my rings, people are asking about, I'm gonna use both these shades. The rings are from, I God, forgot to link all this stuff. Um, the rings are from a company called Goldie Lou, which I will link later, but um, I'm gonna put on my lip filler, my million dollar lip filler. It helps if you go, you poke up your lips like this. What's it from? One of the only Disney references I'll ever make. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Okay. Little Mermaid, yes. Yes, Little Mermaid. You got to bop your eyes like this. You got to poke up your lips like this my favorite. That and Beauty and the Beast were my favorite growing up. And that's all we're discussing about Disney. I'm just kidding. We can discuss it if you want. I guess. Natalie, to clarify, you and Michelle Wong talking about things you love that no one else does. Oh, are these blushes not loved? Do people hate these blushes? All right, let's get to the makeup. Um, this is all kind of disorganized now. Hold on a second here. Let me lay it out. Let me let me organize it. Okay, we've got the primer. We've got that. That. Okay. 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 So we are going to be starting with the primer. This is the blurring primer. And I made sure to like really moisturize my visage because um, this is mattifying. Sarah Toma, Little Mermaid, thumbs down. Dude, I'm not giving up my voice for no man. Sarah Toma! Sarah Toma! Listen, if you want to roast some Disney movies, Sarah, Toma, I'm here. I'm here for you. I feel you, Joanna. Wow, just all the theater nerd references over here. Okay, so this is actually quite dewy. I don't know if you can tell, but like it, it seems very, well, it's probably not, <laughs> but it seems it. Melanie McCoy, supposedly the Laura Mercier blushes are a dupe for the stu stupidly for the stupidity, I think she meant to say stupidly expensive Hermes blushes. Okay, got it. Oh, 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 Natalie was talking about, <laughs> Natalie's referring to the video I did with Michelle where she came to my apartment and we talked about our unpopular opinions a few years ago, which is one of my favorite videos to date. Or wait. Was it the one, whatever we've done, a, we've done a few. I've also done, um, wow, this is really not dewy. That's not, that's not dewy at all as promised. Okay. That's very, Ooh, Matt. All right. We're just going with it here. Um, here's popping out the back. Sorry. So, Oh, I was just going to say, I've done Unpopular Opinions with Better Off Red as well. We did, right? Yeah. Gosh, I feel like I've done, and with Emily, and, and with Emily, who's on here now, which I did link in my last live stream. Um, okay, so I also want to just, I'm going to take a second to plug it. 
Sorry, not sorry. If you have not seen my I followed a Kylie Jenner tutorial, guys, come on. You know you want to see that shit, okay? Let me just give you a hint. It's not... It's not in support of the Jenners, okay? Enough said. <laughs> just watch it. I just take... I try to meet them shot for shot of tequila. You Just go. <clears throat> okay. Now, also... The other thing I want to say, because I always forget to mention this, I used to mention it all the time and I stopped. If you love something, share it, share the shit you love. Okay. If you love a video, what, just put it out there because honest, honest to God, word of mouth in this profession is everything. So please, if you enjoyed something, if you, en if you enjoyed better off red, eight shots of tequila friends, <laughs> Well, I came close. I came as close as I could. I was ready to retch, like ill. So if you enjoy that video, you better fucking share the shit out of it. Don't make me come over there. Don't make me come over there. All right. So this is new. I don't have this. Um, this is the, the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, natural skin perfector, which I, if I'm, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, Lou, Lou Cazada. That's how I found you through Michelle Wong. Oh, that's love. Thank you. Thank you for coming over from the Queens channel. I think they expanded their shade range on this. I think. Um, okay, so this is in the shade Vanille, but it's going to be too light for me because I'm like so tan, like it's crazy. No, I just put on the body sauce. Okay, I'm I'm a little bit, this is going to be too light. So, Emily King Brown, she can hold her liquor. <laughs> I can. Listen, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I can. Okay, I'm going to grab my, this has been sold out at Sephora forever and a day, and I don't know what's happening, but ooh, and it's real messy. But this is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy, such a long name, Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops, which I'm telling you what, if you, um, If you, if you, wow, can I talk? If your, if your skin tone like changes in the summertime, um, you got to pick this up because it really helps. Just like a little, just a little dab will do ya. Just a little dab. I might not have needed that actually. I feel like this is okay. I think it's gonna be okay. So this is, they have a lot, they did have a lot of shades of this, which I, which I thought was really great when I was looking on Sephora. Now, just so you know, everything I'm talking about is going to be linked below in the description box. Um, in case you missed something. <laughs> Nancy West, I was impressed with the tequila cons consumption. <laughs> Why, thank you. I mean, I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, that was too much. Shit, sorry. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. You don't need, that's too much of that for me. You don't need much of this bronzer stuff. I mean, you know, in my case, if you're pale, you don't. I am sauced. CC, I'm sauced. I've got the sauce on my chest. I know you can't tell because it's not that much of whatever. You should have seen how I looked before, okay? Oh, I didn't put it in the... 
<laughs> I didn't, Cece's, Cece is saying, you didn't put it in the description box. I forgot. Wow, I really am off my game today. I did not list the sauce in the description box, but I am wearing it. So I'm not too upset about the blurring um, primer because I feel like I can deal with a blurring primer if we use a, or like a mattifying primer, if we use a, a dewy skin tint, which you know we almost always do. So, so they kind of, I don't know, they balance each other out, hopefully. That's, that's the hope. <laughs> Amanda, slow clap. You can always count on Kate to be sauced one way or another. Have a little faith. <laughs> yes, this is true. Cece said, oh, Cece thinks this is a great match. Think I think it's a good match too, right? It worked out. So, so, oh, EKB, sauced, next merch line. That's a good one, girl. That's a good one. She like, she like the sauce. Yes. <clears throat> oh, Patricia Goodwin. The little poet gave a shout out to Kate the Great Beauty in the body sauce. Oh, so yes, that was super sweet. I don't see that she's here. Um, right now, but there's a YouTube channel called Little Poet. Um, I, I feel silly because I didn't even know she had a YouTube channel. I thought she was, I mean, she is a subscriber of mine, but I didn't know she had a channel. So I didn't mean to say just a subscriber because subscribers are very important. Um, but it's so sweet. She, she shouted my channel out recently in one of her videos. So if you haven't checked out Little Poet, she's just like, I don't know, like Earth Mother. She's, I, you know, she's one with nature. I was feeling very, like I needed to go to get a caftan on and like get a book out and try to read it, but I don't read, so I didn't do that. But um, she, <laughs> she's just like sunshine. She's just lovely. <clears throat> She, yes, I have seen her in the chat occasionally. That's true. Yes. Okay. So, so anyway, thank you to, I, I already wrote her and thanked her, but I do want to thank Little Poet so much for that. That was so sweet. Also, Angelica Nyquist. I don't know if I'm supposed to say her name like that or not, but she did put out, um, I, you know, I did the truth about being a beauty YouTuber video a couple months ago and um she she decided to do that i guess we could call it a tag i don't know what to call it but anyway it's very sweet she put it up today so and she also um you know just mentioned me briefly in her video and it was very sweet so you know definitely go check that out as well because i mean it's an interesting topic because let's talk about this this is a weird thing to do this is weird this isn't normal. I mean, I guess it could become normal, but it's weird. <laughs> so it's interesting to hear how weird it is from other people. Okay. <clears throat> now, now, you know what I'm going to do? I didn't link this, but I'm just going to or list this or whatever. Wait, where is it? Where is it? <clears throat> I'm just going to put on a little cream blush because why not? <clears throat> why not? <coughs> Went down the wrong tube. So this is the, um, just the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush and Petal Poppin. This is like what I grab, um, the other night I actually, you know, Randy works in the restaurant industry and he was like, it's really slow tonight, you should come. And so I was like, okay, cool. 
and I just, I just could not care less. I just gave no fucks. I wore no makeup, which I mean, I know that sounds like, oh my God, like I didn't wear makeup and that was like, uh, it was crazy. No, that's not what I'm saying. But like, you know, when you go to a rest, when I go to a restaurant, I usually like, you know, at least wear something. <laughs> that's not true. I wore mascara. I wore mascara and I put this on my cheeks and that was it. Cause I just couldn't be bothered. And it was just so refreshing. It was, it was really, it was freeing. It was really also like masks, you know, you get it. But point being, this is like my in a hurry, grab this cream blush. So good. Um, <clears throat> Lisa Blancet, it's normal for these times. I love it. And I love the community that skincare and makeup has done for women and helping us to feel supported. Yes, absolutely. I love that. <sighs> Now we're going to try, <clears throat> do you guys like this powder? I, I have heard very like differing views on this. This is the translucent setting powder, which I feel like everyone is like, oh, you have to have this. Um, yes. Age, ageless beauty, 416, baby eyes and cherub cheeks, right? Okay, so let's, we're gonna go light with this. This is, this is a hearty product. This is like hefty here. Oh, Nancy West hates this. Okay. Well, let's hope I can get this here. Here, enjoy, the, enjoy that. Okay. Is there talc in this powder? Well, I don't know, let me see. Yes, there is. So if that is a no-go for you, then do not, do not get it. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna, I don't know. I feel some, you know, I feel like translucent powder is very drying, so. Um, bye Yvonne. Have a good dinner with your husband. I don't know. I'm just gonna, oh, I forgot the concealer. Shit. See, this is what happens when I have things out of order here. Let's do this first. This is not Laura Mercier. This is the Kosas Revealer. Kosas Revealer Concealer. Oh, hello, Kim Lee. Langendurfer and Kim McConnell. Okay. So I want to give a shout out. Emily, EKB, are you still here? Bitch, you still here? We don't call each other bitch. I don't know why I just did that. She left the room. <laughs> She's left the room. Oh, she is still there. Okay, great. You you rang? No, I wanted to tell the, the people, tell the people about, um, so Emily, so here's the deal with Emily. Um, here's the deal with Emily. Like there's a deal. She's, she's a lot like me. She's an actor. She's got an incredible singing voice. She has been on my channel before, which I talked about. So I'm not going to do that again, but, um, <clears throat> she's also a makeup artist. And I wanted to mention that she is in this, this comedy group called the Lib Tarts. So if that sounds like it's up your alley, they're constantly putting out content. You can find them on Emily, correct me if I'm wrong. You can find them on the TikToks. That's where the kids find them on the TikToks. And you can find them on um, Instagram as well. So Emily, if you would just put, you know, how, how people can find you in the chat. They're constantly covering 
very topical, relevant things. <laughs> and I'm amazed that they've done it during COVID. It's, it's actually quite a feat. Like I don't, I don't understand like at all. So once Emily puts it in the chat, I will let you know, but they're called the lib tarts, tart. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Um, and you know, we all need a laugh, you know, we all need a laugh. So, <clears throat> oh, Patricia, thank you. <laughs> I think it's literally just like, if you type, if you go to Instagram and TikTok and you type in the lib tarts, you, it's not hard. Oh, but there you go. There's that, there's that type A... <laughs> detail oriented gal that I love. She typed it all out. Her IG is Emily King Brown and lib tarts. Well, you can see it right there. I'm not going to repeat it. You can see it right there. And also it's all listed. It's all listed. Um, and I'll put it again, like, wow, I really got my work cut out for me after this. It's called lib tarts comedy on Instagram, but I'll put it in the description box later. I did not do, I did not do my work tonight. <clears throat> okay. So I'm feeling like I don't want to put a lot of powder anywhere else. Like I put it under my eyes, which I'm not mad about. Emily, I'm improvising. Yeah, I am improvising. That's right. This was the lightest ap application of translucent powder you ever did see. Okay, so I kind of kept it away from my, just like a very, very light dusting on my cheeks because I don't want to be, I don't want to be matte. I don't want to be super matte. You know what I mean? Yeah, Cece's like, don't do that drying. Yeah, got it. Okay, now I'm going to do my the ice cream man is outside I can hear him loud and clear I don't know why that fills me with rage but I hate the ice cream man song <clears throat> so this is the Kosas uh do I have to even say it at this point the Kosas airbrow gel it's all I'm using kind of obsessed with this bag though like this is almost like a clutch am I wrong would that be tacky if I was like going out to dinner and I was like with my Laura Mercier? That's kind of weird, right? That's weird. Okay. Um, okay. And this is in the shade medium, medium brown. Can you hear the ice cream man? I'm just wondering. <sighs> Wait, what? Oh dear. Oh. Ageless Beauty 416. The ice cream man song is racist, if I'm not mistaken. I'm glad you don't like it. Oh. Well, I didn't know that, but now I'm glad I now I'm extra glad I don't like it. Wow, I don't know what's going on, but I feel like my growls are my growls are growing. My growls are growing. <laughs> you know what I mean. Go with it. Just go with it. Oh, Sarah Tom Sarah, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Sarah Toma says turkey in the it's oh, it's turkey in the straw. Is that what that song is? Oh my God, I didn't know that. Okay, wow, I didn't know this. This is so interesting. CC, Lord, Turkey in the Straw, Google it. Okay, Kendall, it plays a song that was used in blackface min, minstrel, minstrelsy. Wait. 
Okay. Well, wow. I'm just really glad you told me, honestly, because I did not, I did not know that. No wonder I hated it so much. <clears throat> Okay, that's good. We're good with that. Learning, CC, learning on Kate the, Kate the Great. That's right. So sorry. That gin and tonic, I'm telling you what. Oh, great. I'm pronouncing your name right, Sarah. Great. Awesome. Yes. Kim Langender for Emily. Still my favorite video of you two on the ship, the calf tent episode. Oh, man, those were some terrible times on the ship, but Emily made them so much better. So, so much better. <clears throat> okay, so now, bronzer. I know Kendall, sorry, Kylie Jenner would be very upset because she says that you're supposed to do blush. I mean, I guess I did do blush, whatever. We're doing bronzer before our final blush, okay? I'm excited about new bronzer because I, I haven't had one in a while. So this is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder. So it's baked. Oh, I think I put the wrong shade. This is Bronze 01. I put Bronze 02 in the description box. I'll change that. But this is, I really do have my work cut out for me with the description box. This is uh, 01, which is, I mean, obviously their lightest, lightest powder. Um, oh, it's, oh, Lisa said it's shiny. Is this is shiny? Why is it called matte? What? Why is this called matte radiance if it's shiny? This looks a little, I mean, listen, this looks a little light for me in terms of bronzer because, you know, I, well, I'm wearing the sauce, but all right. I'll give it a whirl. I'll give it a whirl. What's it from? What's it from? Oh, wow, that really. Oh, okay. Lisa was thinking of another product. Okay. Home Alone, yes, Vivian, you win. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, Jerry. <laughs> okay, so this is nice. This is, I mean, I might have a little bit of bronzer left over from something else, but not much. Joanna Yas, do brands just decide what shades you need or do they ask you? Um, it depends. I didn't know I was getting this box from Laura Mercier. Like when I went to my UPS mailbox, I was like blown away because I didn't know. So sometimes brands will contact you and be like, hey, do you want us to send you PR? And it's like, yeah. most of the time, yes. But some people just will just send it to you. And that's what Laura Mercier did. And they did their research because this is the shade I would normally, if I wasn't using the sauce, this is the shade I would normally wear, a, a fair neutral or a light neutral shade. So they did really well. Um, how, Lisa Blancett, how does this compare to the Charlotte Tilbury? Wow. That's, that's hard, Lisa. I don't know. I, you know, here's the thing. This is lighter than what I have in the Charlotte Tilbury. So I don't know if I can, I'm sorry. Like, this is nice. This is nice. I'm not mad about this, but like that's Charlotte Tilbury though. That's Charlotte Tilbury though. But this is really beautiful actually. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This looks warmer than Charlotte Tilbury, is it? I don't know about that. I 
It's nice though. It's really nice. I'm just gonna take my powder brush and just, there's barely anything on this, so. Um, <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna do the caviar stick in the shade Ginger. Yeah, the, the bronzer actually, what well, you're right, the bronzer in the pan looks really light, but it actually, I don't know that I needed anything darker than this. So you're absolutely right. This is for the best. Good job, Laura Mercier, you're killing it. You're nailing it to the damn ground with your cursive and your, oh, wait a second. Okay. So this is the shade. Ginger is pretty neutral pretty neutral. You guys know? Oh, oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, it's matte. Okay. This is like a peachy nude. Okay. This is perfect. Cause this is like the shade of my lid. So this is the perfect, like no makeup makeup stick. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. This is what I wanted the Mac pots, you know, those, whatever they're called, the pots to be, but they would just dry out and get real thick. This is perfect. Melissa Kessler, I love those matte caviar sticks. Yes. <clears throat> paint pots, yeah, the, the matte paint pots, exactly. Okay, well, this is what I needed those to be. I love something that just evens out the shade of my lid. Like I woke up that way, but I didn't, you know? Does that not just look like I, that's just fresh. That's a fresh look. Okay. Okay, Laura Mercier, caviar stick and ginger. Heard. Heard. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot eyeliner. Fuck it. We won't do eyeliner. Sometimes you just got to do a baby eye, you know? So we're going to do... This is a very simple routine today. This is a, a natural routine. Um, I'm gonna use my uh, Lancome, my Lancome Lash Idol Mascara. So I also wanna let you guys know that, I know it sounds like a really basic thing to be obsessed with this with this caviar stick because it's so like nothing but honestly it's all I it's really all I need in life is just that just a matte like it looks like your eyelid is perfect and has been airbrushed yes please and they are blendy these, these are so blendy and smooth okay so I started watching the mayor of East Town. It took me a second to get into it because, you know, it's very bleak and bleak. <laughs> Did I mention it's bleak? But let me tell you, it's so good. It's so good. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to show you the lurches. I mean, Kate Winslet, you know, kind of can't do anything wrong. Um... the hell happened to this mascara? It looks like, hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is, no, 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 no. Okay. Wow. Have you ever had that happen where like, never mind. It doesn't matter. It's fixed. It is bleak. It is bleak, but 
it's a bleak I can hand, I mean, it's very upsetting, but it's, I, I, I highly suggest it. And I, I'm not caught up yet, so there are going to be no spoilers. Um, but I was having this conversation with Better Off Red because, like, that dialect is the first time I ever heard anything like that was Kathy Bates on, I believe, Freak Show, right? Where they have the rounded O's, the O's, no. And what a what an odd dialect. And Sarah was like, I can't believe you never heard that before because you live in New York and it's like in New Jersey. Um, and I do love dialects. I just, I never heard it before, but damn, there's some people on that show who are killing it with that dialect. Let me tell you. And it's very subtle because when Kathy Bates, I love Kathy Bates. Okay. Listen, don't come for me about Kathy Bates. I mean, sometimes I love her. So We've discussed this. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, she's brilliant. And then other times I'm like, wait, but is she brilliant or is she terrible? It's, it's like, it's a very fine line. Um, but no, I love Kathy Bates, but her dialect in uh, American Horror Story was like really intense. But I think that Kate Winslet and some of the other uh, supporting cast are doing an amazing job with that subtle accent. Um, yes, Angie English, Kate, did the top thingy just come off the tube saying thing? Yes, it was weird. I like, I don't know what happened, but the whole top came off the tube, but it, I fixed it, so. I haven't seen the last, Jessica, I haven't seen the last episode of, I'm gonna watch it tonight, Mirror East Town. But guys, speaking of American Horror Story, Evan Peters is on Mayor of East Town. I love me some Evan Peters. He's also killing it with the dialect. I love this mascara. I just, it's perfect. Should I do the bottom lashes or should I just do a doe eye? Should I do like a, just the top. Oh, Lauren Boylis, they're filming American Horror Story by my house. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's exciting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Jean Smart is in it. Yes. Oh my gosh. How could I forget? Jean Smart. <laughs> she talk about someone else who can't do anything wrong. Um, well, I'm getting like a divide on like whether I should do all right, we'll just do the top for now. I might go, all right, I'm gonna do the bottom. All right, all right, all right. It's honestly equal, but. Wait, what is the next season of American Horror Story? What is that? I'm not sure I know. All right, because Lauren lives in LA. Okay, next tie. And what... What I also love too is, can we just take a moment for the fact that like, there's no creasing with the caviar stick? Like I didn't even, I didn't even set that with powder. There's literally no creasing. What is even going on? What's happening, Laura Mercier? What kind of wizardry is going on over there in your factories? Hi, Shannon.
The handmade Shelly, the Handmaid's Tale is awesome too. They film not far from here in, in in Ontario. You know, I I need to catch up on Handmaid's Tale. I I think I've mentioned this before, but I can handle a real heavy bleak situation. Okay, I'm into it. I'm into something very depressing. <laughs> wow, I sound like a barrel of laughs. Um Handmaid's Tale was like so upsetting to me that I we had to have a palate cleanser afterward. That's one of the only shows, only movies or shows that I've ever watched where I was like, we have to watch something else. Like I am so, I am so disturbed on so many levels that I, I can't, I can't go to sleep. So it's just, well, and it's also like, well, that could happen, you know? Not to be a down, not to be a downer. Jennifer Brown. Oh, thank you. I wish I could use that. Well, you know, the ginger caviar stick, I'm sure, here's the deal. Here's the dealio. I'm real pale, right? So I'm sure they have other shades that would look like a natural eyelid for other skin tones. This is this is a natural shade for me because I'm pasty as hell. Probably wouldn't have the same effect on other people, but they have such a wide range of shades that I'm hoping that that they're that you know what I'm saying. I'm hoping that there are other matte shades that would just look like a clean lid for other skin tones. That's what I'm saying. Um, I think I actually did that without, okay, I might have to clean something up, but I came really, really close, really close. <laughs> um, okay, now, now, Wait, did I get the very edges of these lashes over here? I don't know if I did. Gotta get the tippy tips, the tippy toppins. Get all the nooks and crayons here. Okay, I feel better about that now. Can you, Karen K, can you swatch the stick on your arm or a white piece of paper? I, okay. Is, this is close enough to a white piece of paper, don't you think? <laughs> it's really peachy, peachy nude. So, if that helps, that helps you. I need to moisturize my lips. We're gonna do lips. And yeah, you could use, like, obviously I'm just using this as my only shade, but this really is a really nice, depending on your skin tone, a really nice eyeshadow base. This is the shade, shade ginger. Again, guys, if you miss anything, everything is in the description box and linked. And if you're going to purchase anything, use the influencers links because it really helps them out. <laughs> Not just mine, everyone, everyone's. Guys, I'm here to spread the word about links. I'm not sorry about it because I don't blame anyone, but like people don't, people don't know. So I'm just here, I'm just here to tell you. Everything is linked for a reason. Um, one, it makes it easy for you, but also if you like something that someone talks about um, and they influence you to buy it, it gives them like a little bit of a kickback because they influence you to buy it. What, what was that? What was that? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are we doing? What are we doing next? We're... Oh, thank you, Jennifer Brown. Okay, so I forgot how the order of makeup, so that's cool. We're gonna do, we're gonna do lips. Okay, so I don't often use a lip liner 
but I'm excited. We're branching out with this. And I also like the packaging. It's really sleek and pretty. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Rosewood. And let me tell you another reason. Well, let me tell you the first reason why I love this. It's You can sharpen it. I really, really... I know it's an extra step, but it just... it. You can't keep it sharp otherwise. Just have to make sure my lips aren't too moisturized when I use a liner. I'm gonna overline a little bit, okay? Yeah, a lot of people talk about links and say they don't work in Canada. And I, you know, I need to figure that out because I don't know how to I don't know how to um speak to it I don't I mean I believe I'm not saying you're wrong I just don't know the answer does anyone have an answer <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna have to check into it I'm sorry guys So this is also kind of like a peachy nude. Wow, Laura Mercier really killed it with my shades. Can we just talk about it? They really, <laughs> someone was doing their research and I'm impressed and honored, quite frankly, honored. Night Star Beauty, I've seen someone do separate links, Canada and US. Okay, interesting, I will um okay i will look into that thank you so now my question is if you go through my link and you switch it over to the canadian website does that not does that not work oh randy's here hi all popping in real quick before my private party comes in at work hi hi sweetie Randy, you missed the whole part where I talked about do the right thing. I love this lip liner on its own. What is happening? Laura Mercier is killing it with just like a naked face look. Am I wrong? You'll watch it on the way home. Okay. Okay. I get nervous about overlining my lips too much because I just don't. Because sometimes it's too much. Let's be on. Let's be on. Thank you, Emily. Okay. I'm into the lip liner. Got it. Should be using lip liners, I guess. Understood. Now we're using, um, I love this lip liner too. That's, sometimes it's just not the right shade. You know what I mean? It's like, eh, not so much with that. I'm into this. Okay. So now a new lipstick. You know, I love a lip product. This is the Rouge Essentiel Silky Creme Lipstick in the shade Nu Préféré. Yes, I do use an obnoxious French accent. <laughs> which I think is going to match perfectly with this, this lip, uh, with this lip liner. Oh, and it, and it does. Yeah, Cece, she's looking like a peach tonight. It is a very peachy night. Also like, well, let me just swatch here, here. So this is the caviar stick, right? So that's new pray for a and mm, that is silky. Wow, I don't have any Laura Mercier lip products that I that I'm aware of. So Okay, that is gorgeous. 
I'm angry. Angry. Oh, thank you, Marie. Oh, Marie Eve Goulet. You might have an obnoxious French accent, but your pronunciation is quite nice, frankly. Marie, are you French? Can I take that to the bank? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Emily King Brown says she's got some new followers on Instagram and she's thanking you guys. Thank you guys. Also, thank you for just listening to what I have to say. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Also, I have to tell you guys, you know I'm not really into a nude lip. You know I, I don't really gravitate at all to a nude lip. So, oh, Leslie Mills is here. Yes, Leslie Mills. So I'm kind of obsessed with this. So, okay. Now, a oh, French Canadian. Oh, I just spat. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so now we're just down to two things. We're down to blush and highlighter. Um, I realized that I forgot to pull out my highlighter. Oh, good thing it's right there. Okay, I'm from Laura Mercier. This is strawberry. So this is matte. And this is peach, which is a little bit hot. Well, I don't know now. I don't know now. I saw online that this has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it looks really subtle. So let's see here. See. Randy, all right, got a bounce taking care of the owner of the company and the former owner of the company we just bought. Good, good luck. Have a great time. That sounds like a blast and a half. <laughs> He'll be fine. I'm just kind of cleaning off the brush a little bit because I feel like I've got some. I need to clean my blush brushes, but it looks like it's. It's okay. It's pretty clean. All right. So let's do the peach first. Okay. And we might just stick with the peach, but I feel like we could, you know, I love a peachy pink. I have not seen Concrete Cowboy. Everyone's talking about this. I will definitely, I've never heard of it. I feel, I feel so out of the loop. I will check it out for sure. Should I add a little bit of the pink just like on the, on the apples? I think I should. Maybe just like a little bit, a little bit. Oh. This is strawberry. Pop a pink. Pop a pink. Okay. Okay. Well, those powder blushes are really good. They're really, really freaking good. The first shade was just called peach and this is called strawberry. I'm just going to, I'm just going to be honest. Well, I've shared, I've shared this with you guys before. Can I talk? I've shared this with you before, but like, I love all kinds of looks, right? But for me, I just, I don't know. I just feel like a minimal look. It's, I feel like I feel the best. You know what I mean? That's how I feel the best. Um, I just feel like it's the most flattering. Okay. Or not a minimal, a min did I say minimal look? Like a, you know what I'm saying? Just like a natural look. Okay, so now, last but certainly not least, this is, can't get away from it. This is the Westman Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick in the shade Nectar, which I mean, I feel like goes perfectly with this whole look is peachy, peach. 
Yes, Emily King Brown, enhancing natural beauty is chef's kiss. Yes, okay. Oh, I just love this highlighter. It is just so damn perfect. It's so natural, it's so gorgeous. Thank you, Anna Lima. Oh, Jamie K is here, Jamie K. Hi friends, I'm at the TWA Hotel at JFK and just want to, she's, she's in my town. Jamie K, I can feel your presence coming through the screen. Why am I doing this voice? What voice is this? Wow, it's so familiar. I don't know what that was, but I'm so glad you're here, Jamie. Thank you so much. Can we just take a second for that highlight? Like, what's even happening? Um... Okay, guys, so I'm going to zoom out here. Bye, Tony. I just, this is the only look I ever need. And I know I say that every, every now and again, but like, oh, it's so gorgeous. Just like that peachiness, peachiness. I love it. So thank you to Laura Mercier for sending all this stuff. It's incredible. Um, and thank you guys for being here. You guys are great. So please remember that I am doing an extra, not an extra, but it's whatever. I'm doing a live stream this Friday at 7 p.m. So please come for my, you know you like a Friday night happy hour. Oh, crrr, you know you do. You know you do. So be there, be square. You guys are the best. This is so lovely. And... Is there anything else I want? Thank you to Emily for moderating and Sarah, Better Off Red. And you guys are the best. Oh, wow, this glass. It's, yeah, it's real gross. Okay. <laughs> Cheers till Friday. But go and watch that damn Kendall Kylie Jenner video. Go, go watch it. Go watch it. And drink some tequila while you do it, while you're at it.